So here's a simulation of how this works. So raw water comes in and typically your turbidity is going to be less than 10 NTU if you're using a slow sand filter. And like I said, it takes about two days to establish the schmutz deck on the surface of the slow sand filter. So for the first couple of days, all that water is just going to go to waste. We're not going to use that uh, and serve it to the public. But after a couple of days, when that schmutz deck is formed, it gets a lot cleaner and we've turned it from yellow to blue uh, to show that the schmutz deck has been established. We now have low turbidity water going through so we can send it to the clear well and then send it off to the distribution system. So for a slow sand filter, uh, as its name indicates, the filtration rate is very low. Uh, it's in the range of 0 0.015 to 0.15 gallons per minute per square foot of filter surface area. So it's got a very, very low flow rate in relation to the surface area of the filter. And that's why it's called a slow sand filter.